on, y'all. It's me, I'm Rudo. And we're back here with... Why is my controller not doing anything? Oh, no, I can't skip this. Back here with Super Mario Sunshine. This is certainly a thing that's going on here. It's probably fine. Ah! It's okay. We're fine. We're fine. Everyone, nobody panic. Everyone remain calm. We're fine. We just need to chase Bafter. I fell. Hey, you weren't here a second ago. Where'd you come from? It sure is brighter. Have our shine sprites come back? Mmm, friend. <laughs> Problems right now. Priorities. Goodness gracious me. Well, I suppose it is pretty cool. Um, hello there. Eh, I miss. Are we gonna settle this inside a volcano? Because that would be just, just like us, wouldn't it? Well, are you standing up to your neck in water? Oh, you're laughing at me, are you? Well, oh, yeah, I'll get you. Don't, yeah. I just tackled you. Ugh. Fire, hot, no like. Corona Mountain, not a good place to be, as it turns out. I don't know who installed all this stuff here. I mean, Bowser, I guess, but I don't know how. Also, this tile here suggests that this used to be like a tourist attraction with like a walkway and stuff. Well, whatever, I guess we're going here. Oh, I thought those would go in a little faster. All right. Well, we can get this fire gone, for the time being at least. Oh, there's weird, there's a little like heat pad that makes it the fire happen. So lava bad. I we die if we touch the lava. Oh hey, there's a cheap sheep just trying to chill in the fire. Did we get anything for spraying that? Oh, we just we get another one. Well that's fun. I saw some blue coins up ahead too, so I'm pretty sure I think there are like maybe five in here. I don't know that for dang sure. That would be cool to learn. Oh wait, I should have gone a little faster. Oh, that's okay. It's okay. This one is just a freebie. Cool! Actually, does this place show up on our map? Oh, that it does. Rona Mountain. The hot spring at the foot of Isle Delfino's mountain is relaxing, but the lava caves, which open on the plaza, are forbidden for public safety. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> One blue coin here. Great. Well, I'm not gonna say Bowser has had this coming for a while. Bowser's had this coming for a while. Um, I don't know which one of these to go to next. Is this- this is fine, I guess. I- I was wondering if there were blue coins around any of the other ones. I should have done that also sooner! Oh, I might get hit by the fire here. This might be bad. I might be dying now. Oh, I'm gonna die now. Okay, goodbye. The horror! The horror! He says, calmly sitting down in the fire. <laughs> we'll try that again, and we'll not make any more long jumps out of nowhere for no reason. Ah, the spikes stay around just a little longer than I would have liked. We don't even need to go on these spikes. We can just go past this one. It's a good thing they give you a one-up at the start of this every time. Oh, I would have died if I had gone for that. All right, let's actually wait for this spike to be in a more opportune position, shall we? Ah! Oh god, that one scared me. That could have killed me if I wasn't careful. Alright, we'll head to here. I think we'll take the shortest path possible where possible. As possible where possible, yes. Um, I was just worried about running out of water is the thing. But I guess I shouldn't be worried about that. We're almost there, looks like. To the end of this cavern. Wherever this cavern leads, I mean, I guess the top of the volcano, but like... Is that a place we want to be? <laughs> Ask yourself that, really. Think about it for long and hard. Uh, I hope I have enough distance to make this. Okay, good. What, I wonder is in here? Just a lone box sitting in the middle of nowhere. A one-up! Another one. Funky. I guess they're trying to give us tons for the, uh, for the boss. I don't really understand <laughs> why this broken piece of rubble has a sprinkler installed in it with infinite water, or where that water is being fed from. The spring, I guess, but how? <laughs> so many questions. All right. Um, this is going to be uncomfortable and scary. No, no, no. Please go left. Please go left. I am trying to convince you to go left. What about that made you say go forward? Okay. Let's be very careful about our choices here. I hope this doesn't just break eventually. Oh, I've almost gone back to the start. Okay, let's steer the- maybe I should be steering like from one side. Like, if I steer here... That makes you turn right? How? Okay, well then I'll do it left. No, that makes you go forward. <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like this much at all. Maybe I just need to do the thing that seems counterintuitive. So I'll try going forward. Oh, okay, this is actually steering it to the right. Please just skim that. Okay, good. Um... Are there any blue coins here? Maybe this is not a good time to check. We can always come back, I suppose, but... Is there gonna be, like, one right in between that and the wall? That would be awful. I don't see one. Maybe I was wrong in my assumption that there are five here. <laughs> that seems improbable at this point. But perhaps I'm really just missing a whole lot. Oh, there are sprinklers there, so we can get more water. Okay, uh, steer that a little harder. Okay, I'm getting the hang of this a bit. But you just want to go nice and slow, because you don't want to run into any- I'm- I'm- One hit in a wall is probably death. If I remember correctly, that's insta-death if you hit a wall. Please turn right. Thank you. Uh, okay. Uh, actually, there's probably more space on the right side here. I was trying to kind of weave on the left there, but let's go here! <laughs> I'd like that more. Okay, and we can get some more water. Not that we're actually really running out. Eh. In fact, we're not running out so much that really I probably shouldn't risk dying for the water, but... 
I'm going to anyways. Oh, I do see a blue coin way at the back there. Oh, and one on the platform, and one on the far left. So perhaps there are five around here, or maybe there are just four? Oh, no, no. <laughs> My water has been replenished, so I can go forward now. Um, any blue coins? In between stuff, I don't see anything. I think they're all just around that back wall there. I mean, if worst comes to worst, and like I break the boat or whatever when I get there, I can always just <laughs> I can always just jump into the fire and get them that way. Oh, they're like blue coins going all around the back there. Interesting. Okay, a little bit of here, a spritz there. Oh man, there are just tons of blue coins here, all around the back. Wow, cool. Okay, that one's actually on the ending platform, so I won't get that one just yet. Uh, oh, they're so close to the wall. I don't like that, Sam. I am. No. Yes. Okay. Now, e you got e easy, easy there, easy there, cowboy. Is there? All right, all right. You, you got it. You're good. Yep, that's right. Yeah, just yeah. One. <laughs> Should I back out and go that way? No, I'm already in it. So just turn gently to the right, if you would please. That would be very kind. Okay, not that far to the right, if you would please. Oh, this lava is also super intimidating. This is like some of the scariest looking video game lava I think I feel like I've seen. Just because of how it's it's so like neon bright, like you can just feel the warmth radiating from the screen with this. Also because of the cool like heat wave effects. All right, this one goes a little too close to the platform for my liking. So we're gonna have to gentle, gently. Yes. It feels like I'm playing Celeste again with all this, this this gentle, although that was more like a lot of doing really small things really fast. I was playing Celeste earlier today. Celeste part four, don't go backwards. Part four. <laughs> okay. Okay. Crisis averted. Well, there may not have been a crisis in the first place. It sure felt like it though. Okay, let's hard turn to the right here. Please don't go backwards. Please don't go backwards. All right. Um, I turned a bit too hard. Oh, I thought the music completely disappeared for a second. <gasps> I missed it! Because ah, the boat was rocking up and down. Please don't hit the wall. No, and don't turn... Okay, I, I can't really... Going backwards is a hard thing to manage. Oh, no. Oh, I'm gonna die here. No, no, no. Oh, wait, hang on, hang on. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, oh. Wait, 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 wait. Wait just a dang second here. Oh, this is not how I wanted this. Um, Can I just turn it without moving, maybe? That's what I would like to do. Just turn... Do a full 180 here. No. I'm gonna run off the edge if I'm not careful. What is this boat even made out of? They don't make them like they do in Delfino. Oh, wait, okay. I'm playing a dangerous game here, but I am turning in the direction that is good for the blue coin. I like, I like bobbed under it before. Okay, I still have to move to the right now. Yes. Okay, 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 okay. Good, good, good. Ah, steam's all in my face. Man, that must be hot. The steam that rises off of uh, water that goes into the lava. Or magma, whichever it is. Okay. You might be able to pull a bit of that um, River of Death Red Coins mission here and, like, hover out to get some of them. But it's hard. I think it might It might be that when the blue coin window opens up, it cancels all your inputs. I don't know that for damn sure, but that might be. Yay! Okay, there's one behind this little stalagmite. I don't know if it's really a stalagmite if it's coming out of the magma and it's just kind of some kind of rock. <laughs> I'm glad they're not too imprecise. Like, I have to... It's, it's, it's pretty obvious where you can and cannot hit the boat. I haven't hit the boat yet, but I mean, like... They're not being assholes about making, like, some of the rock underwater that you can run into, you know what I mean? Like, making the the range at which these things knock you out of your boat. The, the, the range is, is small enough that where it feels fair. Like, it feels like I actually have to avoid the pillars and not just some arbitrary nonsense hitbox. Okay, there's just one here. I think there are two more after this. This one was pretty easy. Mario C! Oh, wait, hang on. Um, okay, so there's just one to my right. My camera won't turn for some reason. I think I was on a rock. No, there was nothing there. I don't know why it wouldn't turn. Okay, um, we want to... Yes, there's one just there. I'm going backwards, which is not my intent! I also can't turn the camera... Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Lots of little sprays. Don't go backwards, please. Okay, we can start moving forwards now. <laughs> Eh, 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 eh,
No, give it to me. <laughs> okay. Now I have to pull a pretty tight turn to go all the way around here. So we can get that one at the front. Again, we could probably get that with hovering, but I don't know if it kills your inputs when you get a blue coin. So I wouldn't want that to be the truth, and then that would be how I die. Okay, easy now, easy now. Just do a tight turn. Don't touch that rock with the bow of the boat. Okay, I can head forward to the one that they probably expected us to get first. Uh, but I didn't, because I went around the right way. As in the right side, as in the not left side. Um, not as in the correct way. I don't mean to suggest that anything I'm doing right here is correct. Boom! Is that all? I think that was... 10 total, right? Yeah, there wouldn't be any more than 10. They would want it on a nice multiple of 5. Alright, well, let's get going then. Uh, it looks like we're gonna need a rocket. How fortunate. You hear that, Bowser and Bowser Jr., I assume, because you were at the start? I'm coming for you. What, did Bowser Jr. just make a, a, hover, a, a another clown car for him? Is that how we got up to the top so quickly? Without, you know, dying? Ooh, I could get another one up here if I was careful. Ah, I just broke my legs falling onto a cloud? Can't believe I did that. <laughs> Whoop! No, I screwed that up. It's fine. Though, I don't know how I didn't take any damage there. Yeah! Oh, I dropped it. It was a round edge, so it was hard to hang on to. Okay, uh, and then we do it again. Just get up here. Oh, don't fall in the lava. <laughs> Is that the last cloud? Oh, we gotta boost up one more. Up to the top! Uh, it looks that... It actually looks absurdly hot. I think not. Me too. Hi. Not when I have a rocket. How dare you disturb my family vacation? How dare you disturb my family vacation? Has the same energy as I'll make you eat those words. You're not even good enough to be. I'll make you eat those words. All right. Well, I remember what to do here, and I don't remember it being too hard, actually. There are these four rocket points, and you go boink, and then you rocket them, and then you jump up here before anything bad happens, and you get killed by the green stuff, and I think I'm about to die. Okay, we're fine. Oh god, fire. Hi well, it's fine. It only does one damage. <laughs> we don't care about one damage in this game, because we have eight health. And Bowser, however, has only got four, and we've already done two. Oh, no, wait, damn it. There's a little more than four. Oh, it's a big shine sprite, this pool. I never noticed that. Why do they have this pool built, I wonder? And where are we? In the night sky? But why? And it was daytime a second ago. So many questions I have. Unless we're literally in space. I will say, one of my things, one of my uh, criticisms about this game that I love dearly would be this boss fight because this is uh, sort of a let, <laughs> a bit of a, a bit of a, an anticlimax. Because as you can see, I have been doing it for about 20 seconds, and we're it's almost over. I'm about to die. It's fine. I almost died on the easiest boss fight. Okay, fire doesn't. We don't care. It's one damage. I think we could spray that away, but like, why bother when we can do this? I also haven't been reading Flood's dialogue on the side of the screen, because I've been talking over it. We did it. Mario Galaxy definitely has this has Sunshine beat in terms of last boss. <laughs> the only one of us who brought a parasol. Well, don't I feel stupid for not bringing a parasol to a resort island. All I brought was my jetpack. Wait a minute, if we landed here, how did Bowser land not here? And how did my hat stay on after I pulled it out of the sand? The robot. Yes, speak to me! <laughs> Game over. I can confidently say yes. <laughs> Think I've been able to make that jump by myself? Oh, Mario was crying. Did you see that? Um, Peach, a little empathy here would be nice. Yes, I see a big shiny thing. There are 120 of them. Get over it. This one's a little bigger. I get that. Huzzah! Now the sun will come back, even though it already is back, I guess. Wow! Oh, man, they were really gathered up here quickly and, and recovered after that uh, <laughs> that flooding that just happened and got into proper dance position. And I saw that some of our friends, like the, the grandpa from Noki Bay and stuff in there. And the director of the, Junior, the peanut park. I've got something difficult to tell you about Princess Peach. I know, she's not really my mama. Well, that wasn't so difficult. 
<laughs> that face. Ah, you already know. I wanna fight that Mario again. That's gonna be arranged. <laughs> Put him up, sucker. That's a good call. I didn't realize there was an island out there to that way. I wonder if you looked out, you could actually see that island. That'd be cool. Hey, we're on Serena Beach. Is it just always sunset here on one side of the island? Hey, now! Look what the toads... I mean, they're just carrying its... Okay, it is fine. <laughs> well, it's about bloody time. Ah, here we are in front of the Bianco Hills windmill. Nice. And then just kind of standing awkwardly around the river. <laughs> Probably too afraid to go in because of how dirty it was. Oh, Mario's teaching the toes at a tightrope walk. That's fun. He's just jumping on a plane now. Which I guess is what Mario would do on a vacation. Just jump on everything. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, he fell. <laughs> That's new for him. Can the flood operate by itself? Don't you have to squeeze the things to make it go? Or is that just how to tell it when to go? Uh, chilling at Rico Harbor now. Jesus! How did you manage that? Ah, the pirate ships where all the death happened. We didn't die there, actually. Oh, Toadsworth. Uh, you don't want to go on that ride. You need rockets for that ride. Hey, now! The Ferris wheel works. <laughs> That's good. That's what I was concerned about. Ah, Noki Bay. Are you going ruin diving together? It's, why does Mario look like he was sneaking up on Peach there? <laughs> I also gotta wonder who's taking all these pictures. Ah, a nap on the docks. That would be nice. Did she just throw him in? Is that why her hands are out like that? Yay! Whoa, there's a crowd roaring. Oh, that's cool. It's like a the Theontos are like doing a little chorus. They end it all in Serena Beach. Wait, you didn't even stay in the hotel? Oh, and that's the hot spring in Pianta Village. Ah. Ah, the mushrooms. Woohoo! Hey, now. You two did great. You vacationed real good. <laughs> you did better than I do on vacation. I just, like, sit around and I'm like, so do I play more video games? Yo, Piantismo is looking at a at the paintbrush. Why does that seem like a setup for a bad time all around? <laughs> save. You bet I'll save. <laughs> That's Mario Sunshine. As you can no doubt tell, we're not quite at the end because we have nine, seven, 27 more shine sprites to get. But I'll leave that for the EX series on this. For now, we finished Mario Sunshine. Waha! Whoop! This is an amazing game. I, this is my, I've, I said this before, this is my favorite Mario. Uh, I, I, I don't know, I could say it's my favorite Mario game just encompassing every game was starring Mario, because Paper Mario games are also existing, <laughs> and they're really good. It's definitely my favorite Mario platformer, not including the RPGs, I guess, if you don't include, like, Thousand Year Door as a platformer, because it's not. <laughs> but even 2D or 3D, this is my favorite one. I mean, I just, the the level design is is great. The environments are, like, the the, the, the aesthetic design of it is all very cool. I think this, uh, one of the things that's really cool about this is this is, like, this is, like, the first 3D game uh, 3D, like, platformer Mario games since 64, where Mario didn't have, like, we knew what Mario was supposed to look like in 3D, and that was kind of not 100% it, uh, but, like, we knew what it was getting at, whereas this is the first time he kind of looks like he would have done in, like, the promotional renders, at least in my eyes. And then Galaxy takes that and multiplies it by, like, five. So it's cool in that way. Um, it's cool also, also in the locations. I mean, obviously, I think it would have been cooler, it, it, like, it would have been cool to have a few Mushroom Kingdom biomes, but I guess that's kind of what the extra levels end up feeling like. They sort of feel like part of the Mushroom Kingdom because of all the, the references, like, with the little Yoshi's Island stuff and all that. And because they're sort of pure platforming and not as much about the other missions that are doing things for people in Delfino Plot- in Del Delfino- Isle Delfino. Some of, the, some of it is- I guess I, I don't want to, like, complain that it's too easy because that feels really, like, uh, conceited. <laughs> but, like, that last boss is a bit of a... I mean, obviously, because I knew what to do, but, like, the the rocket pads there, you would recognize those from other times where you had to do that. 
So, and because you had a rocket, like, it would have been something you tried to do, I guess. Compared to Mario 64's fights with Bowser and Mario Galaxy's fight with, fights with Bowser, it seems like a bit of a less, less climactic. And it's the only fight with Bowser in the whole game, and he's just kind of sitting down in a pool the whole time. But I don't want to spend too much time grumbling about that, because that that's, uh, it's like one small flaw in what otherwise I consider to be an outstanding game. Um, the platforming is so tight, the mechanics beautiful. People say this game is janky, and, like... I guess I can get how, compared to 64, it's, like, not as... something. Like, there are some things that are li slightly less consistent, and obviously when you add the water mechanics to everything, it makes everything a little less funky, but even just Mario's mechanics, basically, I always found, like, really satisfying, and all the little things you can do... Like how that, I think it was like, what was it, episode two or the first one? I, I think it was like episode two or three when I was having fun on the ropes. <laughs> the music obviously is insane because it's Mario and it's all good. Um, and like obviously how it all changes when you do, like when you have Yoshi is all great. Serena Beach, we still have one mission to do, but obviously that'll be in the e EX version. I don't actually remember what mission eight is, so that'll be exciting. It's probably going to be something like inside the hotel you have to claim a bunch of stuff i don't i don't really know overall i um i am very 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 glad that i got to go back and play this game again and i'll probably play it a billion more times in, in my life maybe on the channel again like 10 years down the line i'll be like hey i gotta play mario sunshine again it's been 10 years but until such a time thank you very much for joining me here whoa um and obviously we've got the ex series still to do um and i might do mario galaxy or something like that sometime after this on the channel. Maybe, I don't even know if I'll, maybe I'll do it before I finish the EX series where I get all the blue coins and everything. Who knows? Who even knows what the future holds? I have an empty slot now so I can start another game, uh, <laughs> is this, is the main takeaway from this. But the second most main takeaway from this is that I'm very happy you came and I appreciate that you stuck around till here. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully I'll see you in another adventure, another game, another story sometime soon. And I was gonna be out of here. Hopefully I'll see you around. Peace. Uh, the forest of fairies. The forest of fairies. The forest of fairies. We just had a, a, a nightmare encounter with our Oliver Eagle, which I'm Alter Eagle. Alter Ego. I already feel like I've gotten a lot out of it. <laughs> In uh, all senses of the word. All senses of the word. All senses of the word. Like